All right, so we're going to begin our next lesson now, uh, which is lesson 7.4, more about printf and introduction to placeholders. Okay, so earlier I explained to you the printf function, where you can basically put a string of text and it will display to your screen. Now in the last lesson I explained to you the way it actually works. Like for example if I write printf123, the way that 123 looks in memory is going to be yeah let's fix that. Okay there we go yeah and then of course with zeros at the end and then of course after this point there could be anything there could just be any random sequence of ones and zeros but we're not worried about that I want to make sure that you understand this each character in this printf statement the one will correspond to a byte to eight bits that are encoded in ASCII uh, that will indicate what character that actually is. So if I separate these a little bit to make them easier to see, then you should know that this is how you write 1 in text, this is how you write 2 in text, and this is how you write 3 in text. So if I have this written out, printf123, then this string of text in memory will look exactly like this. So if, if you understand this concept and you understand the lessons up until now, you should be able to understand even what the actual ones and zeros inside of your computer are set to when you run this type of a function. So now that you understand that, the next thing that I want to show you is how exactly these placeholders work. So I showed you that we can say something like int i equals 5 and then we could say printf the variable i is set to and then we could put percent %d and i and you should remember that the output for that is going to be the variable i is set to 5. That would be the output. Let's talk about how this works. First of all, notice that the percent %d never gets printed. This is because the printf function knows that if you put percent %d, it is intended to be a placeholder for some other value. Remember that we said before that matching data types is very important. Anytime any function is going to operate on some data, it must know what kind of data it is, how big it is, and how it is formatted. Why? Because as we have learned in previous lessons, the same binary can mean multiple things. A sequence of eight ones and zeros might be an integer, or it might be a character, or it could be anything at all. The printf function allows you to specify different placeholders depending on the type of data that you want to print you must always match the correct data type to the correct placeholder. Now you already learned that percent %d means integer, but we can look at some other examples as well. Now let's write a very simple uh, program here. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we'll start with this. Now we run it, and of course we have the expected output, the value is 5. Percent %d can also be percent %i. Percent %i also means integer, so if you have an integer you want to print, you have the option of putting percent %d and percent %i. So in fact I could do both, percent %d and then I can put i twice. So the first i is going to correspond to this and the second i is going to correspond to this. And so when I run it,
the value is 5 and 5. Percent I is this 5 and percent D is this 5. Now if you can represent it as either percent I and percent D, why am I telling you both? Well the answer is because you could encounter either one in someone's program and you should know that they both correspond to an integer. Now another type of placeholder is percent U and you can use percent U whenever it is an unsigned integer. Let's do that. Let's do an unsigned which means it can only be positive because there is no sign bit. An unsigned integer I equals 5 then what we can do is we can go ahead and write the value is percent U and we're sending the unsigned integer I as the second argument and when we run it there you go the value is 5 so percent U can correspond to an unsigned integer you can also use percent C for a single character not more than one character not a string of text but a single character and I'll show you how that works we can use the care data type care my character equals a and then here I can put percent C which means single character and I would put my character like so and now when I run this the value is a because percent C is corresponding to my character which is set to the character A. And lastly you can use percent %s which is a string of text. For that we need to put an actual string of text a string of text. Now this is a null terminated string of text whenever you write a string of text in C any string of text and you put it inside of double quotation marks it will always be a null terminated string so if I put one two three in quotation marks like this it will be in memory like this the extra null character is automatically put at the end of the string in a way that you can't see it but it's there so always remember whenever you have a string of text that is enclosed in double quotes there will always be the null character automatically put right at the end so in between the three and the end will be where the null character goes so if I was to write it in null that's that's where the null character goes so this string of text 123 is not 3 bytes long it is 4 bytes long because the fourth byte is the null termination byte so if we run this program where we are sending a null terminated string of text to the printf function the value is a string of text. Lastly you can mix these values any way you want. I could do percent %i, percent %i, and percent %s and then I just have to make sure that I match them up properly so an integer will say 5, 3 and then a string of text so this 5 will correspond to this percent %i, this 3 will correspond to this percent %i and a string of text to this and I can run it and you'll see how that works. I encourage you to experiment with this and make sure that you understand it. So to go over it, percent %d or percent %i is a signed integer. That is an integer that could be positive or negative. It has a sign bit. Percent %u, unsigned integer. Percent %c, a single character. And percent %s, a string of text that is null terminated. Now remember, a single character is not null terminated. That is one byte. So it is, so for example, if I were to say care my character equals one, then inside of memory, it's going to look like this. 
that's it. That will be the entire variable my character. There's not going to be a null termination or anything else. It's, it's just going to be that one byte. Remember that everything I just explained is also on the website HigherComputingForEveryone.com on Lesson 7.4. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.